Hey, Bandit. Hey, 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 hey. You want to say hey to the campers? What campers? I don't see any campers. Where? Nobody's here. Well, we're here. Yeah, I'm here, but where's all the campers? Well, the campers are at home. Can you tell them hi? I don't see anything. I see myself. Oh, I look good. Bandit. What? Just tell them hi. Hi. Who? Wait, what? I'm so confused. All right, well, bear. Who? <laughs> You're not a bear. I'm not a bear. I'm sorry. I had something in my head. What? What's up there? I don't know. Anyway, today. That's today. Today? Yes, today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are going to read a book for our artsy expedition campers. And the book is titled... <gasps> Not again! No, 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 no. Bye, bye. Bandit. Mm -hmm. Bandit, come out. Mm -hmm. I'm scared. This is nothing to be scared of. It's a pretend story. I don't, I don't want to. Well, you don't really have to. You can go and take a nap. Okay, bye. Bandit. What? What are we going to do with him? Okay, I'm going to be over there. Okay, bye. <laughs> we are going to read The Gruffalo today because on our Jeep adventure, we might be going through the woods and the woods might have some secret and kind of scary creatures. Hmm. Well, they could in our imagination anyway because that's just fun, right? All right, so without further ado, The Gruffalo. The Gruffalo by Julia Donaldson and pictures by Axel Scheffler. There's the woods. The Gruffalo. Who's that? It's a little mouse. A mouse took a stroll through the deep dark wood and a fox saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going, little brown mouse? Come and have lunch in my underground house. Oh, it's terribly kind of you, Fox, but no, I'm going to have lunch with a Gruffalo. A Gruffalo? What is a Gruffalo? A Gruffalo? Why, don't you know? He has terrible tusks and terrible claws and terrible teeth and terrible jaws. Well, where are you meeting him? Here by these rocks. And his favorite food is roasted fox. Roasted fox, oh my, fox said. Goodbye, little mouse. And away he sped. Silly old fox. Doesn't he know there's no such thing as a gruffalo? <laughs> On went the mouse through the deep, dark wood. And the owl saw the mouse, and the mouse looked good. Where are you going, little red mouse? Join me for tea in my teacup house. Oh, it's frighteningly nice of you, owl, but no, I I'm gonna have tea with a gruffalo. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? A gruffalo? Why, don't you know? He has mumbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. Where are you meeting him? Oh, here by the stream, and his favorite food is owl ice cream. Owl ice cream too, whip to whoop. Goodbye, little mouse, and away owl flew. Silly old owl, doesn't he know? <laughs> There's no such thing as a crop of owl. <laughs> On went the mouse through the deep dark wood. A snake saw the mouse, and the mouse looked good. Where are you going, little brown mouse? Come for a feast in my log by your house. Oh, it's wonderfully good of you, Snake, but no, I'm having a feast with a Gruffalo. A Gruffalo? What's a Gruffalo? A Gruffalo? Why don't you know? His eyes are orange and his tongue is black and he has prickles all over his back. Where are you meeting him? Here by this lake and um, his favorite food is scrambled snake. Scrambled snake? Oh, it's time I hid. Goodbye, little mouse. And away the snake slid. Silly old snake. Doesn't he know there is no such thing as a Gruffalo? Uh-oh. What does the little mouse see? What? But who is 
this creature with terrible claws and terrible teeth and terrible jaws. He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. His eyes are orange, his tongue is black, his purple prickles all on his back. <gasps> Ruffalo said, you think good on a slice of bread. Good, said the mouse. Don't call me good. I'm the scariest creature in the deep dark wood. Just walk behind me and soon you'll see. Everybody's afraid of me. Oh, sure, said the Gruffalo, bursting with laughter. You lead the way and I'll follow after. They walked and walked until the Gruffalo said, hear a hiss in the ground ahead. It's a snake, said the mouse. Why, snake, hello. Snake took one look at that gruffalo. This is dear, goodbye, little mouse. And he slid right into his log pile house. You see, said the mouse, I told you so. Amazing, said the gruffalo. They walked some more till the gruffalo said, I hear a hoot in the trees ahead. It's Owl, said the mouse. Why, Owl, hello. Owl took one look at that gruffalo. Well, Owl, Owl, goodbye, little mouse. And he flew right up to his treetop house. You see, said Mouse, I told you so. Astounding, said the gruffalo. They walked some more till the gruffalo said, Why well, are some bears on the path ahead? It's Fox, said the mouse. Why, Fox, hello. And Fox took one look at that gruffalo. Well, help, um, goodbye, little mouse. And he ran right into his underground house. The mouse said, Gruffalo, oh, now you see, everyone's afraid of me. But now his tummy was starting to rumble. And, um, my favorite food is Gruffalo Crumble. Gruffalo Crumble, said the Gruffalo. And quick as the wind, he turned and fled. All was quiet in the deep, dark wood. The mouse found a nut, and the nut was good. Hmm? The end. That little mouse sure was smart. Okay, you guys, so how can we let this book inspire our art? I know we can create a creature, an imaginary creature that we might find just like that Gruffalo. All right, so join me and we'll use our imaginations and give it a try. Okay, artists, so today we read the story of the Gruffalo, and we can see that the Gruffalo looks like a very silly kind of monster that lives in the woods. So that's exactly what you guys are going to create, a Gruffalo-inspired kind of creature who lives in the woods. Now, yours does not have to look like this Gruffalo. You could make yours however you want. I'm just going to start with some of the ideas from the Gruffalo to help inspire my drawing. So, in the book it says that he has terrible tusks, and he has terrible teeth, and orange eyes, and a black tongue, and purple prickles all over his back. So, I am going to start with those kinds of things. But, if you want to add other stuff, you totally can. So, let's get started. Alright, so I've got... A plain piece of paper. That's all you're going to need. Just one of your nice pieces of cardstock. You'll need your pencil and your eraser. And we're going to do this with oil pastels today. All right, so you'll need those as well. Now, the Gruffalo in this one, we can see his whole body, right? He's got his head, his big tummy, his arms, and his legs. And you can see all of his fun claws and stuff. So you can draw yours like that if you like, or you can draw just the face. It's really up to you. I think that I'm gonna focus on the face of my silly monster. So I'm gonna start with the basic shape of my head. Now this head is, I don't know what you wanna call it. It's, I guess it could start out as an oval. It's a little bit different. And he's got his snout there. Yeah, I think I might just make a simple kind of a shape to begin. You can really go however you want. So maybe I'll start out with a 
simple oval. Now, but, oh my goodness, I don't know what's happening here. Oh wait, okay, um, it's looking like it's gonna be an egg shape. Hmm. Well, maybe I could make it a little bit wider at the bottom. Ooh, yeah, okay. Now, I am just gonna use my imagination, right? I'm not really sure what I'm gonna draw, but you don't always have to know the way to have a lot of fun. All right, so there's my funny shape. Oh my goodness, I could make it this way or I could make it this way. I like this. Okay, so he's got some horns. I kind of like the idea of giving him some horns. So that's like this sort of a shape. All right, that's pretty good. And just make it up as you go along. Whoa, okay. Now, let's see. Those, yeah, those look like Gruffalo horns, all right. Hmm, but I could think of my own name for my monster, huh? It doesn't have to be Gruffalo. All right, he's got some big old yellow eyes, and I kind of like that. So maybe, oh, we looking at, oh my goodness. There's one, and there's two. Whoa, one's bigger than the other. Now, I kind of like that, so, whoa. Oh, <laughs> all right, he's good. Yeah, sure, okay, go for it. All right, now he's gonna have a funny, well, I don't know what's gonna happen with this guy. He looks, but well, he looks kind of like an alien, I don't know. All right, whoa, okay, and now I'll give him some funny teeth. <laughs> all right, does not look at all like the Gruffalo, but that's okay, I'm gonna give him some little nostrils here, whoa. I don't know their own nostril. Should we give him a nose? Let's see how he looks with a nose. Whoa, he looks kind of like a pig. All right, wow, I'm getting kind of scared, guys. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna give him his, his little shoulders here. Hmm, maybe I'll give him some spikes. Whoa, ah, oh my goodness. Okay, and then should we put a hat on him or something? Well, he doesn't have any ears, huh? Let's see, we'll give him some little ears too. He kind of looks like Shrek, like Shrek, uh, Shrek's evil half-brother or something, I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, we are just going to go with it. So, draw your monsters however silly you want to, this one's pretty silly, with your pencil, and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to go over some lines with oil pastels. Let's see, so I could make this any color I want. Maybe he could be green. Oh, I'm going to make him green. All right, so I'm gonna trace. Whoa, my these oil pastels are really slippery. You may end up with a beautiful oops. What would happen if you were driving along in your Jeep and you saw something that looked like this? Would you stop and say hello? Well, I don't know if I would. Okay, well, get your picture with it. Hmm. Tell everybody, look what I saw. All right. So I'm tracing this in oil pastel right now, just like we traced our alligators the other day, remember? And I can color this whole thing in with oil pastels also, or I could paint it. Really, it's up to you how you want to do it. Um, because after, oh, I'm using yellow. I don't want to use yellow, I'm gonna use gray. But this is not yellow. Miss Missy does not know her colors. That's white, silly. I know that that's white. All right, so there's some gray. Anyway, as I was saying, you can use oil pastels to color this in, or you can use your paint. It's really, really up to you, okay? So I think maybe it might be kind of nice to use oil pastels because we already had a turn to use paint, right? So the fun thing about oil pastels is that you can mix colors with your oil pastels just like you can mix colors with paint. So let's say I wanna make these horns gray. Well, if I wanna lighten up the, uh-oh, some of the green's mixing in. Well, why not? If I wanna lighten it up, I can layer the white on top of the gray, look at that, and change that color a little bit. Now you want to press down kind of hard with an oil pastel to get the color on really, really well. I want to give him purple teeth, but guess what? We have no purple. What? You guys know how to make purple? We could take a little bit of blue. Oh, blue teeth look kind of good. Oh, he had like a blue snowball. What do you think? Okay. If we add a little bit of red to that, I bet you it would make a purple. How do we not have purple in this 
little kid. Hmm. Sorry about that. I did not notice. Oh, I'm going to kind of messy. Now, you'll notice that when you work with oil pastels, they kind of slip and slide all around. And you might not get the effect that you wanted. But kind of the messiness is the fun of it. Oh, I messed up my nose there. Oh, well. Okay, so look. Let's say I go ahead and I start coloring my nose in. Uh, now, look what's happening. If the black oil pastel in the lighter color touch. Do you see how it's kind of streaking a little bit? That might not work out so good. So think about that. If you're going to do black, make sure you're careful when you color around it. All right, so there's some orange, but I want to change it. Remember how we said that oil pastels could change a little bit? What if I took some yellow and layered that color right on top? Oh, I got some streaks of black. Silly Miss Missy, you'll know, don't use your black until last. We always do that, but these are really slick oil pastels. Oh, look at that. It's almost like paint, isn't it? All right, now I think I might take some light green and go over my monster's face. It's like Kermit. Kermit green. I don't think I've ever seen Kermit look like this. And again, when you go over from, to another color, look, I've got some, some of this orange is kind of coming in there. Now, this looks like a big old mess, doesn't it? <laughs> but I'm just starting with one color, and then I'm, boy, it is like Kermit. Oh, my goodness. Kermit, what happened to you? And then maybe I'll give him some red spikes. Now, if you're not comfortable working with the oil pastels, you do not have to. You could use your paint and paint it in. Now use your watercolor paint. Don't use the paint that is um, in the little cups. We're saving those for our canvases, which we'll be doing very, very soon. All right, so I'm using dark green and light green on this ear. And now I think I might try and put some of this dark green and blend it some with the lighter green that's under it. Let's see what happens. That gives an interesting effect. Look at that. See how the colors are combining? You could also do dark and then put light on top of it. Let's see what happens. So you don't want it to look super scribbly, right? Well, unless you want it to be a scribble monster, which I guess would be okay too, right? But, but I'm scribbling the colors on, then putting another color on top of another color so it kind of changes it. So look, look at that. That looks kind of cool. Yeah, he looks almost like he's got some fur, doesn't it? Especially since I've got a bumpy table here. So, all right, so there's that. I'm going to be careful around his little blue teeth. So I'm putting down some light here. Just have fun with it. And then I'll put the green top. I'm, kind of, I'm not pressing as hard with this. I'm pressing kind of light because I still want some of that green to show. Oh, look at that. That's kind of fun. And if you wanted to, if you didn't have anything under it, it would be darker in certain areas and lighter in others. Look at that. Let's see. And then you could always put another color on top. What would happen if you would put some yellow on top of this screen? It could change it. You guys could be good color investigators with your oil pastels and just a piece of um, spare paper. You can try to... Uh oh He got mixed up. Poor monster. Um, you can see what happens, right? Let's try out different color combinations. All right, so I'm going to stop talking so you guys can start arting. I'm going to finish up this guy, and then I'll see you on the flip side. Y'all be good. inspired monster in the woods. I hope I never run into him. What should his name be? I will call him George. All right, you guys, I hope you had fun. I cannot wait to see what you create. Be good. <laughs>